Hey, this is MT from BT Speed. Today we are going to drive around uh, in my industrial park and during this drive we will tell you a story about uh, how I get started and uh, introduce our distributor, right? Yes. MT, tell us about why you know. Uh, that is a very good question because uh, in my family we have a Beetle in 1988 it was so difficult to drive to people that are not familiar with uh, uh, European car because during the time in Taiwan most of the uh, is from uh, Japanese car. So you told us that your first job with Kido was 12 years old. Exactly, 12 years old. I was born in 76. So I drove Kido since uh, 1988. Since the first time I drove it, I fall in love with such a wonderful car and it is so much fun and I don't believe the little car can do that good performance, even honorary, even anticipation, because lots of brand in Taiwan and the people handle is awesome and because I live in an industrial park, we have a lot of open road so I can go crazy. I hate and I feel shame because they are made in Taiwan. I say, hey, I gotta make my own parts. So the first part I make is exhaust system. Exhaust. Exhaust. Yes, exhaust. Because I'm exhausted of broken parts. <laughs> so I make exhaust. So we have MT who has lots of passion for pedals and who really uh, drew pedals, knows pedals, and created the first exhaust. Yes. That can last longer with very good quality and fantastic design, right? And that's a problem because it's uh, long lasting too long, <laughs> and I make uh, less and less business. <laughs> it's okay. People still love it. Important because in Taiwan it's uh, lots of rain. The humidity is always 99% or 99.9. Yeah. So I have to make parts in stainless steel, yes. not just the looking. Functional, it's wonderful. So, can we polish the exhaust after use? Uh, yes, because the stainless steel is the color change because the temperature and lots of uh, object from the road, so it's not rust because the exhaust is hot. When you drive in, you have other object jump onto the exhaust and it's become a spot. To remove that, you use a copper brush. Copper. Copper? Copper. Brush. Just remove the surface. Or you use the kitchen stainless steel polish. I don't know how to say in English. But you can buy them in a kitchen supply store. 